Okay, come on, just jump into this. You got this. Hi guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. My name is Anna. I have been wanting to start YouTube for a very long time, but I get nervous and I end up not doing it or I think too much about it. And I just kind of have to just jump in, see where it goes. So for now, welcome. So for today's video, it's going to be a Sephora haul. I am always at Sephora. If I'm not there, then I'm online shopping. And that's basically what happened here. I'm going to try to make this video as short as I can. If you're still watching and you've stayed this long, then I appreciate you so much. And I hope you can like and subscribe. So like I mentioned earlier, I went online on Sephora during their 20% off sale, which was towards the end of November. And I purchased quite a few stuff. Um, some of it are stuff that I've already purchased and that I've enjoyed and other stuff is just new things that I'm curious to try. Sephora for the most part does a 20% off of all purchases in their store two times out of the years. It's not to say that I wait for those times to make purchases because to be honest i make purchases all the time but i especially like doing my purchases if i can save here and there i'm gonna try and show you the stuff that i've purchased in the past and then jump into things that i was curious to try first things first is going to be the cinema secrets makeup brush cleaner this is the tropical lemon scent i've actually never tried this scent before i've tried their original blue one which is actually another purchase that i did i don't know if this necessarily has a specific scent but i love this cleaner it cleans the brushes so quickly so easily so effortlessly and it dries instantly so i can reuse the brush at that moment if I really wanted to. I normally gravitate towards the bigger ones just so it can last me a little longer. I do like the little one for traveling. Hands down, one of the best makeup brush cleaners that I've ever encountered. Hopefully you guys can try it too. Okay, the next item is by the brand Beauty Blender. I bought their original sponge. I have been purchasing their sponges for such a long time. It's basically my go-to. Lots of times I actually get lazy to clean these right after I do my makeup application. So it's nice to have a variety of them so that I can at one point just clean all of them at once versus having to clean them every single time. I also bought their Blender Cleanser in solid charcoal. I used their original one, the small like white one, and I really loved it especially for certain brushes. I don't know what it is, but they clean better when I'm using this versus the other brush cleaner that I use. I don't necessarily think it's the brush cleaner. I think it's just the type of brush that it is for whatever reason, it, it cleans better with these solid soaps. Doesn't hurt to have both. Okay, so the next item that I purchased is by the brand House of Lashes. It's their lash adhesive. This is in the color dark. It's basically my go-to for um, dark eyelash glue. I've been using this for such a long time. I like using dark when I'm going to be putting on eyeliner, which is quite frequently. So I enjoy having the option to use either dark or clear. The next item is by the brand Away. It's their dietary supplement, which supports less hair shedding. It's basically meant to help hair growth. I've been using this for quite a few months. I have seen a lot of baby hairs when I'm blow drying the hair. And I don't think it's because my hair is breaking. I actually do think that this is helping. So I'm going to continue using it and see what happens. Okay, so the next item that I purchased is by the brand Colorwell. It's their cold favorite flexible hairspray. I've been using this for quite a few months. I'm just running out. So it was a perfect timing for me to get this one. I actually really purchased this because it helps with color treating hair so it keeps it from you know stripping away more of the color than what it needs to so yeah so the last item that i purchased that i've used before is the brazilian bum bum cream i got the biggie size i'm going to say it's limited edition but i'm not too sure it's basically just their original but it comes in a larger container and it does also come with this spatula which actually looks like a surfboard it's kind of cool because you don't have to really dig your hands into this this thing is massive if you can see the next items oh no one more thing sorry it is the 
Hydrating Hand Sanitizer Mist by the brand Touchland or Touchland. It's literally just hand sanitizers, but in a spray form. I think that they're really cute aesthetically. Honestly, I just think these were super cute. They came in a five pack. Why not just get them? Next is new stuff that I wanted to dab into. I'm gonna try to get there faster. I actually just saw this one. I've used this one in the past and I love it. It's by the brand Stila. It's the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the color Kitten Karma. This is so beautiful on the eyelids. I really love this. I don't know if I can do a quick swatch just so you guys can see what the color looks like. Again, this is my first video, so if it's looking bad, sorry. But yeah, I don't know if you can kind of see it. I'm going to keep wiggling it back and forth a couple times. But I love this color. That's all the stuff that I've purchased in the past that I repurchased because I love. Next stuff is stuff, obviously, that I wanted to try out. I just need to jump in because this video is taking too long. First up by the brand Velour, it's the Long and Strong Lash Serum. My eyelashes and my eyebrows are very thin and short. I know you can't probably tell because I have a lot of eyebrow product on, but trust me, my eyebrows are very thin. So anything that I can do to maintain the hairs that they already have, or if I can get them to grow a little bit more, better for me. I've never been the type of person in my younger years that I've shaved or overplugged, so I'm not really sure why I have them so thin. I think it's just hereditary, but it doesn't hurt to dabble in and see if these things help. So this is the lash serum and then by the brand anastasia beverly hills i got the brow genius it's a brow serum let's see how this works next is two items by the makeup forever brand the first one is the micro finishing pressed powder it's basically just a translucent powder um, but i've heard that it helps with eliminating shine like during photos and things like that so i don't know if that is the case but we will see and then the second one is the Invisible Cover Cream Foundation Palette. It's just different cream colors that you can mix and match to come up for your foundation, your concealer, bronzing, contouring, things like that. Next one is by the brand Sephora. It's the Melting Cleansing Balm. I actually used the Pharmacy brand and I really did enjoy it. So I wanted to see if this one worked the same way or not. I've never tried it, so we shall see. Next is by the brand Pureology. This is the Strength Cure Miracle Filler Treatment, which I primarily purchased it as a protectant for my hair when I'm blow drying it. I basically ran out of the one that I was using before, so I just wanted to see what this one was about. It says it's for color treated hair, and obviously my hair has been treated for many, many years. Let's see if this helps. I have one, two, three four five six seven eight more products okay hurry up let's jump in uh next one is the silky lip oil by artist couture i have been wanting to purchase this from sephora for a very long time but it's always out of stock i'm very curious to see how this looks on me and i i'm glad that it came back in stock next is by the brand tatcha this is a kiss you lip mask it's a little pot has a little spoon in it and it's you know basically just a lip balm i think it's cute never tried it before it doesn't really have a scent to it i wanted to try it the next one by the brand living proof this is a vanishing oil it stops frizz and adds healthy shine i'm gonna be completely honest with you i really purchased this because when megan fox um she did like a red carpet and they did her hair to look all like wet one of the products that they use was this and i've been wanting to buy it for such a long time but then i just kind of pushed it to the back burner and now that the sale came on i'm like let me see what this is about next up is a fragrance it's by the brand versace it's the dylan blue it's just really a like travel spray let's be real here i have a vast amount of fragrances i don't really know how to stop there was really no reason for me to get this other than might have seen Jaclyn Hill talk about it. I was intrigued by it. I saw this little tiny bottle. I thought, why not? That smells good. Maybe I'll show you my collection one time. Four more stuff, guys. Okay, next is by Dr. Dennis Gross. Gross. I feel like I need to do the research on making sure that I'm saying these names properly so that I don't disrespect the brand. But this is the Firm and Bright Eye Treatment. Never tried it before, but you know, as I'm getting older, I'm trying to dabble a lot more into skincare. 
and honestly the before and afters that i saw in the sephora website kind of intrigued me if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out down to three next is a huda beauty it's the baby bake loose baking and setting powder this is actually the travel size i didn't want to jump into the original because like i mentioned i've never used this product before and i didn't want to grab the full size if i wasn't going to be completely happy with it but i think it's kind of cool this is in the color banana bread it has this little top i think let me see if i can open it here you go so you twist it and it has this little like applicator so i think it's super cute i don't have to think of getting a sponge just use this blot apply two more guys this is by the brand rare beauty it's the perfect strokes eyeliner in the color black yeah black mm -hmm. i like trying out new eyeliners to see which one works best for me how cute look at this it's like in a pouch you have to rip it open oh okay kind of looks like a sharpie but i definitely want to see what this is about and last but not least oh shoot this was another makeup forever brand it's the Rouge Artist Forever Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's in the color 240, which is like a mauve pink. It's like a rosy color. The applicator, I will say, is a little challenging to work with for the first time. But I think once you get practice, then, you know, it'll be easier. Here's the color again. Sorry for the swatching. I promise I'll get better. These are all the stuff that I bought. It did come with one free item, which I thought was kind of cool. It's sort of like an advent calendar, but it's by the brand Sephora. It comes with 12 surprises. I actually have not opened it yet, but I thought it was super cute that they threw that in there. I was not even aware that that was going to happen, so it was a nice surprise to see. It comes with 12 things in here, which from the looks of it, it's like eyeliner, liquid lipsticks, a lip mask, hydrating moisturizer maybe, nail filer, ooh, a blush. Um, charcoal wipes you know whatever super cute but that's basically all of the things that i purchased i don't think i left anything behind i'm sorry if the video was so lengthy but anybody who did stay this entire time i truly appreciate you and i thank you for taking the time to see what i'm about i really don't know what my channel is gonna be about quite yet Originally, I thought I could do beauty-related videos. Those who actually know me on a personal level have known that I've enjoyed doing makeup for a very long time. I by no means am a makeup artist. I have dabbled in doing makeup on other people, but it's just not for me. It doesn't make me feel comfortable. It pressures me, and I just want to be in a place where I can be happy for do doing what I actually love to do i hope they can be entertaining i will loosen up as time goes but for now thank you guys for watching and like i mentioned like and subscribe if you really did enjoy this and i will see you guys soon